today's video, we are going to be exploring Cumberland Island, which is a, it's a barrier island off of Georgia, very close to Florida. We're Nathan and Tiffany. We own a wellness practice where we have dedicated our professional lives to helping people achieve, maintain, and enjoy wellness. We also love a great adventure. This is the channel where those two loves align. Okay, today we're gonna to spend the day at Cumberland Island. And if you have a national park pass, you only have to pay for the ferry ride and you get a park pass for free. Thanks, Mom. Sweet, thanks, Mom. Yeah. And uh, we're bringing our bikes for the day.
so we had this trip to Cumberland Island planned and uh, my thought was always going to be that um, the wild horses that they say are here, you'd have to seek them out, find them, they'd be on some beach galloping, uh, 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 visible in only a short window of time, their manes flowing behind them with an ocean as a backdrop, very black beauty, black stallion-ish, but that is not the case. No, they're everywhere. Very cool though. Yeah. We saw a foal and they look, they look wild and they're a little they don't want you too close which you shouldn't get too close so we brought our bikes here which i would definitely recommend if you fit enough to do so yeah. uh, it allowed us the ability to bike all the way up to the plum orchard from where the dock uh, where we got dropped off was took us about 30 to 35 minutes to bike there it's about a seven we were going pretty quick though it's about a seven and a half mile bike on sand uh, pe you know sand. seashell sand so we saw that and we had a great uh, tour guide we spent some time there and then biked all the way back down and saw the Dungeness mm -hmm. ruins, uh, which were, you can only imagine what that house must have been like in its days of glory. And lots of the horses are around the Dungeness ruins. We probably saw, what do you think, 30 horses yeah, down there? Yeah, a lot. Yeah. It's a, it's a beautiful island. It's uh, You're only allowed to have a car if you live here and there's maybe less than half a dozen houses that are inhabited. So it's absolutely beautiful, beautiful nature animals, birds. But there's also tours. If you're not interested in biking or walking lots of miles, because we bike total about 18 miles today, if that's not up to your speed or that's not something you would enjoy, there's some apparently some really great tours. So for like 60 bucks? That's what she said. 60 bucks, yeah. air conditioned, drive you all over. There was one place we didn't get to see. We saw pictures in, in the museum. It's about 10 miles further than where we went um, on pretty rough roads. Uh, so she said, don't try it. We'll miss the boat. <laughs> With one boat leaving Don't miss here. the boat. There's only one. Yeah, we didn't want to camp out overnight. The bugs are not bad in the daytime, especially if you're moving. But um, when you stand still, they, they, they'll they get you. They'll get you. And also, it costs about $10 to bring your bike on the entire our entire trip. The two of us plus our two bikes with taxes and everything, I think was $118 and, for the day. And does that count that we had a national park pass? Uh, yeah, so we had a national park pass. I think you have an additional fee to pay to get into the park on top of the boat to get across. We didn't have to pay that fee. So if you have a national park pass, bring it. So for those of you who are either on a budget or are being a bit more health conscious when you're traveling, this is an example of what we do when we travel. So we went to the grocery store and this should feed us two dinners and two lunches. And the hotel happened to have breakfast included. So you know, it's not, it's not all like visions of health, but this is our lunch today. This as those are actually end up being like one meal for each of us. We have stuff to make a picnic lunch for tomorrow with some bars and oops, sorry about that. Some bars and some fruit snacks and stuff and some fruit and crackers. But this is a, a really great way of not overdoing it when you travel. Today's adventure is we're riding all around Amelia Island's park system, like their parkway system. It's called the casual riding bike path, casual bike path. Look at me, looking all touristy. <laughs> I look the part. So weird thing, if you come here, they have the south, the south orientation, north. So strange. I don't know. I don't know why they would do that, but.
hurt to your ankles. <laughs> So I have been gluten-free for 17 years and in that time I have tried real pizza one time and I did pretty good. It was probably about a year ago and I'm going to have real pizza again. This time I chose it because the flour is imported from Italy and there's some debate as to whether or not that makes any difference as to the way they grow and manufacture their flour. So for the first time in 17 years second time in 17 years I'm gonna have real pizza thanks for watching we'll see you next time